I just want to do a quick thing about something I touched on briefly um a 26 minute video that I did um that was called um creeps my telomeres and I I put it to a friend in Spokane I'm under another ban right now uh some of the language I use uh gets me banned occasionally I've spent like half one year completely banned I say pussy and, and nigger a lot uh I usually say it to like compare uh, uh, things to another, and sometimes I just say I like pussy uh, because my friends goad me into that. They're like, "You only want sex," but you know, it's uh, it's been things where I've said like, "Yeah, I love pussy," and I've gotten banned for things like that and stuff where I've like compared uh, calling older men creepy or assholes just because they're older men. Um, is like calling a black guy a nigger, and of course I don't ever watch my language ever because you know I, I grew up in a household where uh, cuss word just flew, not in anger, but in uh, just sort of in an adult context. My mom said shit and fucking damn as much as my grandmother did, um, but my family is very intelligent. And we just used uh, very plain talk, and uh, we're open with the language, uh, so I'm just used to that. Uh, my family uh, were deeply involved in politics and uh, local activities and travel. Mom and stepdad, dad and stepmom both. And so they're very worldly people and they've traveled the world and people know them everywhere, everywhere they go. Uh, so my language can be coarse sometimes and I'm always trying to put it in a context where it makes sense. Um, but, you know, I get called a faggot for being a feminist or supporting women all the time by what I view as right-wing females and guys, too. But anyway, language, language, language. Fuck shit, damn, you know, whatever. I, I support it all on television. I'm, I might be left-wing, and people are like, you're a commie, and I'm like, well, I support freedom of speech. I'm like George Carlin, you know, I want freedom of speech. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say that if there's any accusations from anybody that I'm a sexist, there are probably more accusations, and I'm a sexist against males rather than females, and the information gets convoluted through the air. And um, I wouldn't say I'm sexist towards males either, because I'm I'm usually supporting older men in relationships with younger women, and why that's a better combination. Uh, but the reason why I'm not a sexist towards women is because women the way I look at things scientifically is that women are the stronger sex. Uh, we're a diploid species, as I mentioned many times before. Um, we have a mother and a father set that creates a child, so we have men and women. We can go into the whole transgender thing, 16 different genders all night, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, I might do something about uh, my uh, humor uh, with uh, with the gay community later on if that ever comes up. The whole transgender bathroom thing, people calling them child molesters and faggots, pisses me off. Uh, so I might touch on that later in the week. But um, I just want to say that I think that women are the stronger sex, and the reason is because we're a diploid species. And we're a diploid species, that means that women are the XX chromosomes and men are the XY chromosomes. And if you look at that, as appendages, well, uh, women are like two bodies and men are like two bodies. And it's like one of the bodies has an extra arm, XX versus XY. So it's kind of like having an extra half an arm on an alien species. Uh, women are uh, one-eighth less attrited chromosomally than males. So that, technically speaking, makes them the stronger set. Uh, their brains are smaller, but they're also wrinkled more, which means they contain more information. Women age sooner than men, but they age more gracefully. But that's uh, that's really up to you. I mean, men usually get gray hair before women get gray hair. Um, and women hit their peak of maturity at the age of 32. And I can show you a link on this. And men hit their peak of maturity at 43. So that's why I'm saying at 37, it would be best for me to get into a relationship with a female 
that is 26 years old or younger. And I've stood, I've stood steadfast to that rule for five years, but I've, I've always allowed leeway uh, saying that, you know, some rules could be broken, but I haven't really pursued it heavily because my heart really wants young 20s, female uh, under 26 uh, because of the maturity levels. Um, and the British study in 2013 was uh, conclusive that women really are the stronger sex because they, for a lot of reasons, it was a brilliant article, uh, the, their, uh, their serotonin pumps out quicker for processing uh, emotional capabilities. They mature emotionally sooner. They're more emotionally more mature. When it comes to intelligence, I don't know. I think that women just can hold more information. Uh, it's like comparing uh, different kinds of computers. An Apple IIe more intelligent or less intelligent than um, than DOS? Well, yeah, but uh, it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges, but it really isn't. I think that women really are smarter than us. So, um, I mean, you look at it, their brains are smaller, uh, which means that women's brains are like a tablet and a guy's brain is like, a computer or a laptop um, and with the tablet that I have that I do everything with I feel that I'm using a smarter machine because it's smaller it only has five gigs on it but everything else I can just throw to my cloud drive on Google and uh, I don't have to keep it here and that's kind of what women do they can't kind of throw the information out there to the other people and women are really better networkers that way uh, which almost got me to vote for Hillary Clinton. Um, I'm a Democrat, but I supported Bernie Sanders. I thought that his age gave him more of a wisdom, and he was less tied to the corporations. But at the same time, I cried when Hillary Clinton lost because it wasn't fair. She won by the popular vote. Um, and Donald Trump won the electoral vote, and it was by the widest margin in history. It's like they just looked at it, threw it away, and said... You know, we're going to give it to Trump anyway, which didn't make any sense to me. It was like the Al Gore, George W. Bush 2 decision times millions and millions of more votes. Uh, so it pisses me off more that Trump won more than George 2. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to touch on is that women are the stronger species because chromosomally they have 12.5% more chromosome area. And to me, that makes me respectful of women more than men, which is probably why I got called a sexist, uh, because it seems that I'm more sexist towards men. I'm just more fair. Women are more, uh, on the chromosome level, there's more to them. Uh, the reproductive system is more complex. There are more complex chemical uh, part of the species than men are. Uh, so I'm not a feminist because I think women are better. I'm... I think that women are better. I don't know. You maybe have a different opinion, but I hope it has a scientific basis, otherwise I'm not going to listen to you.